So welcome, today is a special video. We have a special guest with us here in the office and we're gonna do an interview and talk all about his journey getting started with wholesaling and flipping and hopefully this can inspire you to get out there and make your dreams come true too. For a limited time, you can get a free copy of Jerry Norton's Virtual Flipper Kit with everything you need to flip houses without seeing them in person. Download it now at virtualflipperkit.com. Hey, if you're new here, I'm Jerry Norton with FlippingMastery.com and this channel is all about how to make money wholesaling and flipping real estate so you can live your dream life. Be sure to subscribe and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss new videos. And I want to welcome you, Sadek. How are you doing, man? Great, thank you. This is really me. fun because um, Sadek is from Dearborn, Michigan and was out here traveling with his son, looking at colleges and just happened to be in the area and we worked it out and uh, came here to do this interview and, and meet each other. So. Welcome to the home office here, the Norton Compound. <laughs> Thank you for having me. And this is fun because you've been following me for a long time, like 10 years. <laughs> and uh, yeah, so it's been a while. And I'm, I'm excited to, to have our listeners kind of hear a little bit about your journey as a flipper and kind of a little bit about what that's like. I always like to talk a little bit about some of the challenges that come along, you know, because it's, it's never just easy. It's never smooth. There's usually hiccups along the way and there's persistence that has to happen. And, and sometimes, you know, deals that don't go through or bad deals and, you know, it's all part of the game of flipping, isn't it? And, and owning a business. So I'm excited to kind of talk to you a little bit about that. So, so again, welcome Sadek and, and tell us a little bit about your journey, maybe how you got started flipping. Well, uh, I got started in my real estate journey about 10 years ago. Uh, prior to that, I owned uh, several pharmacies. So I actually worked in those pharmacies and manage those pharmacies mm -hmm. in Metro Detroit. Eventually what I started to realize is that I was still trading time for money. Mm. And the money was coming in, but the time was not there. <laughs> Let me kind of give you a little background of what I was doing. I was finding a lot of properties off market. Okay. And I was the go-to guy for my community. Uh, a lot of my family members, they'd say, hey, Sadek, you know, do you know of any properties in the area? Anybody selling a house? You know, because there are a lot of cash buyers in my community most of them just pay cash. They don't deal with banks, mm -hmm. credit cards, any of that stuff. So, so I was so, so Sadiq is Middle Eastern from Yemen originally, yes. right? And and the Middle Eastern community is very close knit, aren't Absolutely. they? Yeah. Yes. And yes. and Dearborn, Michigan, if you don't know this, is like the highest concentration of Middle Eastern people in like America. In the whole US. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. And and Detroit's my old stomping ground, so I, I love Detroit. I love Dearborn. And so it's really fun to kind of talk about this, but uh but you're talking about a very close knit community, you know, a lot of interaction within the Middle Eastern community yes. in Dearborn. Yes. Okay. So I was starting to source deals throughout the community. And with that, I was just getting little fees, you know, <laughs> Hey, I got this house, you know, for throw me a bone, Yeah, throw me a bone. <laughs> so I was flipping properties at this time. I began flipping properties in 2010 uh, in the Dearborn, Dearborn Heights area. So I got rid of all my pharmacies. I sold all the pharmacies that I had because I want to focus strictly on, flipping properties mm -hmm. and also wholesaling deals. And just like we had mentioned mm -hmm. earlier, I like to do both, you know? Yeah, one of the things Sadek and I talked about prior to turning the camera on was, uh, you know, I'm a really big believer, and those of you that follow the channel know this, that I believe that you should be wholesaling and fixing and flipping, mixing the two, and really it's a perfect combination because your fix and flip should really be the home run deals that you keep, they're the high profit deals, uh, but you're very, you're very careful about the bandwidth you tie up on those deals because they require funding and managing or more work. So you better make a bigger profit. Well, then the singles, doubles and triples, those you just wholesale. And what that does is it provides what I call paycheck money, you know, like it's steady now, especially if you start doing a couple a month. Sure. And then you got the big home run fix and flips that kind of happen when they happen. And, and it's a great way to kind of leverage both strategies in your business. Absolutely. Right. So what's cool is either way, you're always farming for leads. You're always looking for deals, right? So all it means is once you get contracts, you cherry pick the good ones, fix sure. and flip those, Absolutely. wholesale everything else. Absolutely. Yeah. Right now I have over 250 cash buyers just in the Dearborn, Dearborn mm -hmm. Heights area. Yeah. So a lot of these guys are doctors, dentists, mm -hmm. lawyers, pharmacists. Other they business owners. So it's all about following the money. Where's the money he's tied into these buyers in, in his community, they're in the Dearborn, Dearborn Heights area, and those guys have money and they'll spend it. Absolutely. Right? But yes. 
It's all about bringing those deals. How has my content or the YouTube channel, how has that been helpful in your journey? It's been very, extremely helpful because you know the Flipping Mastery program, uh, Flipping Mastery has taken my mindset from one level to a, a whole different level mm -hmm. because I was doing things very old school and very mm -hmm. traditional and I, wasn't, and I was being broken down by contractors <laughs> and I was being broken down by deals. And when I started finding out you know, through your channel that you know, the way to, out, you know, to network deals, the way to talk to realtors, the mm -hmm. way to talk to contractors, mm -hmm. how to find those deals and actually frame, put the framework of those mm -hmm. deals, it took my game from literally here to here. Mm -hmm. It was amazing. That's awesome. And also just all the backend stuff that you offer mm -hmm. and provide from you know the the quick start mm -hmm. you know all the the contracts scripts and the scripts, forms and yeah. forms it's amazing <laughs> i'm telling you guys what jerry offers you can't put a price tag to it mm. yeah well, i appreciate that yeah we we really pride ourselves on my goal is to be the number one resource person with wholesaling and flipping meaning for free resources give out so much that uh, people just really can take the tools take the resources and and go out there and apply it and, and make money with it. So that's that's, that's our awesome. big goal here. That's our vision. So thank you for saying that. I'm, I'm, oh, my pleasure. I'm glad to be able to really help you in your journey that way to be successful in this business and and yeah. reach your goals. It'll yeah, be exciting you. to see your next level where you take things to. And what advice would you give somebody watching this right now who is is studying, learning, wanting to get into the game of real estate flipping? but maybe has some reservations, has some fears, hasn't done that first deal, working maybe towards that first deal, what advice would you give somebody at that stage? I honestly can say this, you know, from, from my perspective of things, when you find the right mentorship, mm -hmm. when you find the right guidance, they will teach you the steps needed. And what will happen is that you will cut five years of mistakes that you would have made mm -hmm. by finding somebody who can obviously lead you in the right direction, mm -hmm. then put it to work. Yeah, take that's action. The mo that's the most important thing. So yeah, take action. You have to take action. Start working on framing your uh, your mindset and your the integrity of, and discipline of, of work ethic. Yeah. A lot of people want to you know succeed, but the work ethic doesn't match mm -hmm. their desire. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I've, I'm a really big believer too, and also in this idea of really hyper focus on on the most important thing right now get really good at that thing and or that market or marketing channel and and then from there branch out but when you're when you're spread so far and you're doing so many things or too many markets too many different real estate investing strategies the shiny object syndrome <laughs> then you're and you're you're kind of okay at a lot of things but not really good at any one thing and that's, that was life changing for me when I really started to focus on just flipping, wholesaling and fix and flip. Got rid of my rental properties, got rid of all these other things. Wasn't trying to do you know, all these other, there's, there's a million different ways to make money in real estate, but just hyper focused on that. That's when things really started to happen for me. And I love what you said about mentorship. I, you guys, I'm preaching to the choir if you're watching this because you're obviously interested in education, but um, mentorship is life changing, it has been for me in my life, I still spend tens of thousands of dollars a year in mentorship because I see the value in cutting the learning curve. Sure. And you said that, you know, it, you can cut so much out. You're still going to make mistakes. You still got to get out there and fumble through things. But if you can avoid a lot of mistakes by shortcutting past them, that just gives you so much more of the advantage. And, and for me, I didn't see the value in that. I've shared this before on the channel. I didn't see the value in mentorship when I first started. And... It took me a few years to realize, man, if I could just learn from somebody else who's at a level I want to be at, I can really get where I'm trying to go a whole lot faster. Absolutely. And there's, you know, so it, there's a return on investment. For me, my return on investment seems to be about 10 to 1. If I spend a dollar in education or in mentorship, my, my expectation is I get tenfold out of that dollar. And that's a, that's a good investment, right? Spend a dollar, get 10. And sometimes it's just one idea, one technique, one strategy, and you're there. You know, that's how cool that can be. What would you say is one of your favorite deals, or it could be most lucrative or easiest or came together the best? I don't know, something that would be inspiring for someone about the kind of deal they could do. Anything come to mind? Yeah, the deal that I'm currently working right now. Okay, let's I'm hear it. You got a deal right now? super excited, yes. All right, I let's hear it. about it. Gentleman's house burnt down. You know, when the fire department came, sprayed Doused the whole everything, house. ruined they, they everything. Doubt, they broke all the windows. <laughs> they, yeah. What's it called? 
He was completely cashed out by his insurance. Okay. Insurance paid for everything. So now he's motivated because so, what does he care? He doesn't care. Exactly. Yeah. So he's at, he, call, you know, he called me up and I sent him a mailer. Uh-huh. So this was from a mailing campaign. When he, when he told me the situation, I took it personal. I usually never take real estate <laughs> personal with anybody, but the house burned. Yeah. My house burned. Yeah. My parents' house burned when, when I was in boot camp in the military. Yeah. I, was, I was in the military. My house burned down. Yeah. Lost everything. So you know I the had, devastation of it. The devastation, exactly. And I lost my youngest brother. He was mm. only five at the oh, time. Oh, man. Jeez, so, so sorry. I, thank you. I yeah. appreciate it. But the devastation that he... The, the post yeah. you know, events that happen, dealing with the insurance adjusters, dealing yeah. with all that stuff. Trying to rebuild the, your life. Yeah. Trying to rebuild your life. And here's what really hit me hard. You know, he, he's a 75 year old male and he's got two daughters. One w- was in surgery the day the fire happened, and the other one has leukemia. Oh, so I took this personal. Yeah. I usually never take it personal, uh-huh. but I said, I want to help. I don't care about the money. Yeah. I don't care about the deal. I want to help you. What can I do to help you? Mm-hmm. I said, I'm going to be there Monday. Went to the house. He showed me around the house and everything like that. I said, Before we even talk about the deal, what can I do to help you? Mm. Have you taken care of it? He goes, look, I'm already paid out yeah. of this house. And he just started complaining about the firefighters and how mm. they destroyed everything. Like you see all his stuff yeah. on the, the driveway, you know, yeah. like they completely destroyed what they shouldn't have destroyed. Yeah. He said, you know, what can you offer me? What can you give me for this? And I initially offered him was 45000 He agreed to it on the phone. That's why I drove. I said, okay, it's got an ARV of 200000 Even okay. if I, Even if it's a complete gut rehab from A to Z, Electrical, HVAC, roof, everything. So everything. I'm looking at 100 grand. Yeah. So I'm still at 140, 145 to do 200. Probably push the 209, 210, you know, mm-hmm. 215 level. I'm still profitable. Yeah. I get there. I told them, look, you know, the reality is this: uh, if I have to fight with the city, they're gonna make me tear down this house. Because he he brought something up. He said the city is telling me to demo. Yeah. Because it's so bad. Mm-hmm. It's so bad. I said. Well, what do you want for it? He said, well, how much are you willing to give me? I said, I can give you probably seven to 10 grand, mm-hmm. you know, for the land, if they're yeah. going to make me tear it down. He said, would you do 15? <laughs> Done. Done. <laughs> I never forced that price on him. Yeah. He brought it back. Uh-huh. He said, what do you think, what do you think this house is worth? If, I said, if, if they make me demo this, I'm taking mm-hmm. the risk that- Which is a risk, you know, yeah. I'm not, the house is worth seven to 10 grand. Uh, you know, I wouldn't be able to, sell the property more than 15 grand. That's yeah. the truth. I would have took a hit. I'm working right now with a, a cash buyer who's willing to give me 100 for it. 100 for it. Because he, so he's, he's a homeowner. He uh-huh. wants to live in this neighborhood. He wants to completely do it. So he offered me 100 right now. Okay, so you guys catch that. So, so 15 is contract price. 15 is contract price, yes. You have a buyer for 100,000. No, 10 is contract price. Oh, 10 right? is contract price. 10 is contract oh, price. You offered seven or eight. He came back at fifteen. You 15, settled at I ten. Fifteen. I said at ten. Yes. You settled at ten. Mm-hmm. And right now you're talking to a buyer at a hundred thousand. At a hundred thousand. I'm still. That's looking. one hell of a wholesale right there. Yeah. Yeah. Absolutely. <laughs> he's a, another Middle Eastern individual. Uh-huh. He wants this home for himself. So okay. he's going to put that money into the house, and he knows he's going to come out with you know thirty, forty, fifty grand this in equity cool. already. So when are you supposed to close on this baby? We're looking to close within the next fifteen days. Okay. Next couple of weeks, you're yes, closing. Sir. Uh, is your is your Middle Eastern buyer is he cash buyer? Or he's a he, cash okay, buyer. So he's cash yes. buyer. He's gonna pay a hundred. He'll come in, spend his money, whatever. He'll do whatever he wants up. to do to yeah, fix it he's up. Gonna do. Mm-hmm. And um, he has no idea your contract price. Or did you discuss that with him? Uh, no idea. Okay. He's just happy with a hundred though. Sure. Now, one recommendation would be to double close that. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> I would not do an assignment. Absolutely. Just to be safe. And um, I don't know if you watched the video I released today about the new flipping disclosure I'm doing, but definitely check that out because I would do I would do that. I I, I listened. To okay, it. this the seller would sign it saying that he understands it, that way he can't. Buyer's come back. intent. Yeah, absolutely. This is one of the most important aspects. <laughs> why I tell you, you know, mentorship because yeah. I have that contract. It was it was something that you know uh, really caught me and, and struck me well because, like I said. If the deal is good enough for the investor, it's, that's all that should matter. That's all that matters. That's all that matters. He, he doesn't care. You, you're going to disclose it. It's cash anyway. There's no lenders. There you go. Yeah. There you go. Values two two ten or whatever. Yeah. So it even is what if, it is. Even if he puts he, like, and I've told and I've talked to them. Even if he puts 60, 70 grand, because it's, he's going to do it his own way because he's not a flipper. This yeah. is for his own home. And he so may he, do some work himself. Who knows? Yeah. So he said he, you know, he's happy with thirty to forty grand in equity right away. Yeah. You know, so he's happy. Yeah. yeah. So it works. It's awesome. Yeah. 
Dude, that is the wholesale of all wholesales. I love that. So you definitely have to keep in touch with me. Let me know sure. when that baby closed. Take a picture That's, of that check. Oh yeah. I want to see that check. <laughs> definitely. Send that to us. But uh, guys, what's cool about that is that's not your everyday deal. That's not, doesn't happen all the time. I wish it did, but what does happen is when you get in the game, things like that happen. That's sure. what's so cool. You're gonna do lots of little deals, lots of little deals, but just getting in the game gives you, it opens the doors for those types of deals that come along sure. once in a while and you just crush it. And that's, a, that's just so fun about this business, but they don't happen unless you get off the sidelines and get in the game. So yeah. that's very cool, Sadak. I love that deal. Thank you for sharing that. My pleasure. And Let's... just remember, always be a real estate problem solver. Problem solver. When you're a problem solver, people take you to a different level uh -huh. and, and people respect that. And they understand that, okay, he's not here just for the cash. Mm -hmm. He's actually here to help my situation because you don't know what they're going through, right? Mm -hmm. So just be a problem solver and genuinely listen. Don't do all the talking. Mm -hmm. Listen to what they're trying to do. Listen to what their motivations are. Bring it out of them. And you know, ask the right questions, of course, with a you know, uh, seller questionnaire. Yeah. And I'm telling you, the deals are there. People are motivated. And just remember, you're, you're not there for everybody. You're there for that little niche. Yeah, the 5% mm -hmm. that, are, that are motivated, that sure. have a distressed situation, would, would rather get you know, rid of that property than have the equity. That's sure. what we're looking for. So awesome. Well, thank you for sharing your advice. Thank you for sharing your story. It was really fun to have you on the channel here. If you guys have any questions, be sure to leave those in the comments. If you haven't yet, make sure you subscribe to the channel. Uh, we do some interviews like this once in a while, but most of the time we're really getting into the nuts and bolts of how to find source deals, how to find cash buyers, how to fix and flip all the different things, funding, everything involved with the business. So you know, I, think there's now, I think there's now 525 videos or so on the channel, all flipping and wholesaling. So be sure to subscribe and we'll see you on the next video.